Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto content. Um, today we're going to be doing some crypto analysis, not too much talking about news, but I do want to talk to you guys about some serious things that are happening right now. I think that you all should be paying attention to a lot of the things in regards to things outside of the crypto market. I know a lot of people don't actually talk about that or even regard it, but the thing is, is that nothing is not all about crypto, right? This is also about other things that kind of domino effect into crypto. So with that being said, let's refresh coin market cap and let's look at things. So we do see Bitcoin is still up about 3.61%. Things are looking good. Still up about 4.84% overall in the total crypto market cap. Now, if we do scroll down, we do see some interesting things. For an example, Ethereum up 4.38%, but we also see altcoins outperforming these major assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. We also see XRP up about 6.81%, still outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, the best part about this is that even if we scroll down, because as you guys already know, we're going to be talking about XRP and Hedera Hashgraph. Hedera Hashgraph is one of those assets that have been moving slightly, nothing too crazy, hasn't had a major breakout since back in like March, you know, pretty much around there. Um, but the interesting thing about these assets that I'm going to be talking about in terms of XRP and HBAR is the fact that they haven't ran majorly. For example, anybody telling you to get into ADA right now um, is most likely just trying to show you their bags. I personally would not buy ADA at all at these current levels. Um, me personally, um, I would be jumping into something like HBAR. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, what about XRP at $1.17? Absolutely not, in my opinion. I will be buying XRP under a dollar. That's where my pinpoint is. Now, of course, you guys, if you want to get gains, I already have my bags packed at such a low number, so why would I bring my DCA up? Um, I will be, you know, personally looking for a better entry point on XRP if I was you guys. But for anybody who doesn't hold a bag of XRP, um, you know, I think that these levels that we do see here, um, you know, it's a little bit of a high risk, um, high reward factor. Uh, and the high risk is the idea that if you can't watch your bags, you know, lose a little bit of money here and there, um, don't invest at these current levels. Now, in regards to that, I just want to say right now, addressing the overall market, uh, things do look good. So first and foremost, we are going to be talking about the dollar. I told you guys, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday that I want to see us break down below uh, 92.74 and retest the 50 day MA. We haven't exactly hit it, but we look like we are testing it or trying to retest it. Now, I am not looking forward to seeing an uphill battle in regards to what happened here, right? Where we tried to retest it and we just continued going higher. I personally would not like to see that, but I wouldn't be surprised by that. Now, what I personally want to see is this breakdown below 92.5. That is what I will be watching for, as we did just break a nice solid support zone that we actually haven't been under since going back to um, August 13th. So about almost two weeks roughly ago. Now, in regards to the dollar, um, some good things to key note, or I should just say just note in general, is the fact that once we break these nice support levels here, the next major support droppage point would be around this 200-day uh, MA at about 91.47. Technically speaking, we could bottom out at about 91.8, but no matter what, us falling down below supports or nice resistance points is solid for us. That is bullish for us because the lower the dollar, the higher we go. In regards to even a crypto uh, market, you know, surge while, you know, for example, major indices are dropping in price, that would be very bullish as well. Now, in regards to the indices, uh, we have been trading fairly solid. We actually had a really good day today where we did push up almost retouching the major highs that we made on the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and even the Dow Jones. I told you guys, these are some three solid factors to really watch for in regards to crypto. They tell you if right now is a good time to buy or not. And in regards to that, um, pretty much to grasp on that, or I should say define that idea is if stocks are going to have a volatile week, for an example, on Monday, if we have a major collapse on stocks, um, that dip that we do see on crypto as well, because crypto most likely will follow it, 
that's a good time to buy because we, we could pretty much say, well, as we go throughout the week, we'll most likely stabilize and go back to these highs. So we'll most likely make some gains. It's always good to note that if you watch the indices, you also watch the dollar. Uh, these are some key factors in order to see where crypto is actually going. For an example, let's lo go look at Bitcoin for an example, because Bitcoin is an, also a very solid trading method as well. So for an example, we have been trading sideways. But we also have to watch major support and resistance zone. For an example, we bounced off of key support at, or I should say in, around the 46 to 47k zone, which is very solid for us. This means that now we hit a resistance point at the 49.3k zone. So until we see a breaking point here, or if we see a breaking point below here, then we won't see any major price action. So... We could be in this chop zone here for some time um, until we have a major, you know, f uh, for an example, a nice pump above this zone here or a major drop below this level here. So until we see that nice PA play out, for an example, a nice surge up or a nice surge down, um, there's nothing to get too excited about. Now, while we do trade sideways, I do suspect that we will most likely see some price movement on our alts. Because if we actually go over here to Bitcoin dominance, I do not currently have it opened, but we do see that Bitcoin dominance is trying to do pretty much the same thing that most altcoins or even just most um, assets are doing in crypto, which is this you know, terrible treacherous sideways trading. That sucks to see, but it is what it is. Now, the major impulse that happens after this is what's going to play the big role in crypto. Are we going to have a surge up or are we going to have a surge down? Again, talking about this or actually realistically looking at this from a standpoint, the major things to watch for on Bitcoin dominance is a breaking point above this level or a breaking point, and I know that I'm going to be moving this, but a breaking point below this level here. Again, it's the same thing as Bitcoin. We need to watch for a breaking point here or a breaking point here. And even going back to Bitcoin itself, uh, so let's actually go back to Bitcoin, we actually see the same exact price movement here that we are seeing on Bitcoin dominance. So whatever happens here, an impulse up or down, to break out of 50.6k or break below 46 or almost a little bit down more um, in these lower levels here. That's what I will be watching for personally. So what do I want to see on Bitcoin? A break above 49.3k, a retest of 50.6k. That will be very bullish for us. Um, same thing even goes for the dollar. I want to see us break below the 50-day MA. I've been saying it for pretty much weeks now. And we could actually use the dollar to go back to the Bitcoin dominance chart. What I want to see on Bitcoin dominance is actually a breaking point below that 43.61%, which is marked at the bottom here, because that's actually very bullish for us in terms of all our alts. And talking about our alts going back to XRP, what I really want to see on XRP as it does kind of do the same movement as Bitcoin after it hit this nice support zone down here at a dollar five. As I told you guys, that dollar five is very, very strong, and we are pretty much going to our 17-day span here. Um, and the 17-day span is even going back to this early time back here, to where we actually got that major breaking point. Obviously, this was a lot more than 17 days, um, but I do think that's only going to take a little bit of time to actually get to these major breakout points. Um, where we do break above, finally, that $2 zone. Now, this is not going to happen in a day, but what we really need to do, okay, and it's not just $1.31, it's $1.35. That $1.35, almost $1.36, is the true breaking point for XRP. That is what we want to go much, much higher on XRP. So until that level is actually broken, which is right here, we will not go too much higher. Now, again, as we range down here, we don't want a dollar five broken as we've came co uh, close to it multiple times, actually retested it four times exact. Uh, so until we see a breaking point on either one of these targets, there will not be some major 
price action movement, which I do suspect one of these will be broken as we range into September. September is the month to watch for in terms of Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance, XRP, and even our lovely friend over here, HBAR. In regards to HBAR, again, has been uh, showing signs of strength as we do ride the 200 day MA train. We have been riding this for quite some time. And I know that this line is not exactly narrow with the 200 day MA, but it is off of a solid bottom point to a topping point up here um, to that 27 cent zone. I do think that we'll most likely ride on this for quite some time before eventually getting up to that 30 cent plus zone. Now, obviously, it's not going to take the whole month of September. We'd happen. This would pretty much happen faster. Now, in regards to this, again, a major breaking point on H bar is that 30 cent zone. Um, that 30 cent zone is our, it's pretty much the strongest pinpoint. Now, again, I do not want to see us pretty much break down um, below this level here at that 23 cent zone. Um, I think that any time that we break down below this, it's going to be a significant dropping point. Now, again, we are seeing a nice little cross on the 100 day and the 200 day right here. Again, it's kind of the same thing that we've seen back here where we did drop significantly. So I'm watching that very closely in terms of the price action that does play out on that. Um, again, I, I, I don't think that there's going to be any you know major price action movement on Hedera until we do break out of that 30 cent zone um, or break below 23 cents. Again, I'd like to break above 30 cents. If you guys already know me, I'm very bullish on H bar and I do think that we could hit significant levels by the end of this bull run. Now, to finally wrap this up, I'm going to be talking to you guys about one last altcoin, and that is Ethereum and Ethereum dominance. So uh, this is Ethereum doing the sa same sideways trading as all altcoins, even going back to HBAR. I know it doesn't look like it, but we are trading in a sideways momentum. Same with even um, XRP, right? Sideways trading. Bitcoin, sideways trading. Everything is trading sideways. So until we see a major impulse, I personally want to see um, Ethereum break out of this $3,400 level and not break below um, any significant levels, which would be that $3,000 zone, um, basically roughly here. Uh, now, yes, we did tip over a little bit below that, but it wasn't anything significant. We regrasped it very fast. So with that being said, I am watching these levels very closely on all these altcoins, especially XRP and HBAR, as I do believe that we are going into a massive September where we will see um, really major gains on a lot of these altcoins, especially XRP and HBAR. So with that being said, those are the levels to watch for just to give you guys that little bit of an insight. Um, I do think that we are looking very bullish. I think that the market looks very good. Uh, we are sitting stable. Uh, we've been sitting stable this entire time. Yes, we could see some volatile price action as we do March into September though. So with that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.